Hi guys, this is Dali. I just want to share with you guys my scrap room. Um, I'm in the process of taking it down because I need to convert this room back to a room for a little bit. So I'm going to be putting stuff back in my room, like sharing my room with my scrap stuff. So um, I want to get, make, get this video because once I come back to this room, it won't be the same. So I want to have a before and after because I'm in the process of changing the way I stores thing because I really don't like the cl clutter look I want to go more to a clean thing that I don't have so many things out so anyway I'm gonna show you I'm gonna give you an overview of the book of the room and then I'm gonna um, go through it so this is my expedite the 5x5 five five one that I have and this is how my room looks And this is my main work area, which I have like a U-shape, which is not working right now. So, and that's the door. My room is kind of, it's pretty good. It's like a 10 by 14, something like that. That's the closet, which is a mess. Anyway, so um, this is the Espedite, the 5x5 five five one that I have. At the top, all I have is just memorabilia from previous swaps that I used to be uh, participate a lot in the cricket message board so the mini albums they all up there um, my siren machine my um, bind it all it's somewhere behind the cards so some cards that I did a box from Michael a uh, cigar box that was art for me and some charms so on the first row I have a couple of things this one is empty and what I do is I keep the layouts that I work on there because I have I've, I don't have a system yet for my um, albums I only been scrapbooking scrapbooking for the past three years or maybe four but at the beginning like the first two years all I did was Arthur items mini albums and stuff and now since last year I'm getting more into scrapbooking so I really don't have Albums. This is all the albums I have so far and these two are Project Life and this is some the post bound Those are the only ones I have for the little layouts that I used to do before So I'm looking for a method for my albums. I came across searching for stuff I can I came across the library of memory System which I gotta get the book because the class is very expensive so I'm gonna get the book and see I think that would be the route that I would take even though I still could continue my packet project um, not project live because I don't do I do it monthly and I do it my own way I don't and I don't use only project live so it's like my packeted scrapbook and I still gonna continue doing like by year for the other layouts because I I have I have boxes of pictures that I gotta go through so anyway, so that's what I do with the first cube. The second cube, I have all the Project Life products that I have. And this was the last Studio Calico Project Life kit that I got last year. And my Siren, that's a, a shadow box that was given to me in a swap like two years ago. On this one over here, I have some of those pink plastic boxes. All they have is like die cuts that I do with my Cricut and my Cameo. And I just throw them there. I have some flowers in there. And those letters from Michael. On this one, I made dividers with post-it boards. And so I could take, use, I could use a lot of the then and these two on the top all i have is templates for mini albums made out of um paper bag and made out of envelopes so those are templates on this one i keep all my mistables um the pink paste prima um the studio calico ones that on this one i have photo papers on this one, I have Hello Kitty, um, Hello Kitty um, things that I get. Um, um, Michael for my smash and stuff like that. Then I have my lace and trim. 
over here I got more more lace and trim or my sewing um, stuff for my sewing machine this is more trends this is the note cards we get in the dollar bin dollar fifty bin at Michael and more lace and baker twine and then this is a wood dress form that I've been meaning to alter for the past three years and it's still there over here this is an album that I started last year I have not finished it um, this is a mini album that I received in one of my swaps and here I have some um, Copic coloring guide even though I don't use Copic but I take I use the technique with the markers I use I have some Magnolia some Stampin' Out, Creative Kids Say and Idea Books on these boxes that I got on my um, Walmart I have um, on this one I have the little sixes dies the little square ones and these two are empty on this one over here I have those boxes from Ikea Ikea and um, the first one it holds all my Cricut Gypsy cables and from the um, for that office supplies like batteries notepads and stuff like that this is three eraser boards that I want to alter um, this one over here holds the Cricut and the Gypsy stuff like um, extra stylus, the pens for the Cricut. And this one over here has those little um, compass notebooks to alter. This over here are the two um, Becky Higgins auto ship from HSN that I received. Some page protector and one of my albums. This is um, the albums I have. Um, post bound now I'm into the three ring binders this is just holding all my um, page design um, plastics and this is a 2012 project live and this is a 2013 which none of them I finished I gotta finish them they all have the pictures in it but they ha I haven't worked on the you know decorating and the journaling so they're still there on this one over here, I have some binders that I empty, and then my smash books. Over here, this is an album that I did like a year or so ago. I never did a video, so I might do a video of it. I did it with Graphic 45, um, Le Circle. Um, no, Curtain, Curtain Call. That was the name of the thing. And just a decoration. Over here, I have some Martha Stewart binders that I got when Staple was clearance in. I haven't used them. I have my snap binders, two of them, which I bought them for to do December daily. I haven't never did it. Um, a recollection smash, and these some Arthur's notebooks that I receive in swabs. And over here, I have some snap page protectors. This little notebook over here is just uh, where I put down all the um color combinations for hair skin and stuff like that using pro markers because that's what i use this one over here was it's a tech it's a little book of techniques using um team hot products which was given to me and then um this over here is a pro marker journal that i did for myself on the third row, all I have is paper, cardstock, and some open stock paper that I haven't go through in there. And then I have my paper stacks in these two, the 12 by 12 paper stacks. And then on this one over here, I have the matte stacks and some 8 by 8 On the bottom row, this one is just miscellaneous stuff that I got to go through. On this one over here, I have all my Twilight um, books collection. On this bin over here, this is where I used to keep all my citrus trees to get calico kits that I was receiving last year. I Once I get them, I used to transfer them to these um, Crapper Hoppers um, envelopes and keep them there. Right now it's empty, but I'm in the process of getting Noah Mignon again, and I'm making my own kit. So that's where they go. On this one over here, I have two 
boxes from ikea the first one it holds all my um this don't even fit there no more all my embossing folders which i don't use at all because i don't make cards no more and this one holds um crochet doilies that i get in the trip shop this carp this is a binder that have page layouts idea another idea book from stamping up the cricket expression book some labels and those um transparencies and this one over here i have some um binders this one is my pro market card techniques um this one is so this four this four is supposed to be stamp inventory like this one is to be for all my magnolia stamps um this one for the other stamps that i have the images stamps and but i never work on them so they still there and this is another pro marker um technique at the bottom i have lace and trims for when i do my arthur items and stuff like that and this one i have everything that is to arthur is in there just throw it there so whenever i get to it um this one over here everything i have is chipboards and bags and stuff mini albums stuff like that that i want to work someday on it and on this one all i have is these storage boxes that i use when i go to crafts and take stuff so i just put them there and this one is just how junk that I gotta go through papers, printouts, the things, how ideas I wanted to labels, the market store, um, things that I use to to establish my my digital stamps, so I could know what I have. So when they would clear and stuff, I bought a whole bunch, but I haven't done nothing else with that. So that's my expedite. I'm gonna just give you an overview of it again. It's pretty packed. And um, I have another idea how to use my Espedite, which I could I got it from the from the internet. Um, I'm gonna show you this is how I want to use it for for so I got this picture from somewhere in the internet. I have I can remember where it was. And what they did is they did they used the uh, work box draws and they created that which I love. And I'm in the process. I wanna I wanna get a work box, but if I could do this, because I already have the expedite, so I don't have to invest in it. So I'm gonna contact the war um the work box to see if they sell the drawers again because i went in but they're not showing like they're um, selling them separately so i had to give them a call and this is how i want to use my expedite so that's the project that i next time when i do my room tour hopefully this is how i have it so anyway again this is my expedite now i'm gonna start this video here and I'll come back with part two.